If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your feet will really show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, nod, nod. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, nod, nod. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, nod, nod. Clap for yourselves now. Well done, well done, friends. Have a seat. Good job. Welcome to the downtown library and to story time. I'm going to put this in here because I found out if I don't, sometimes I have children play the guitar during story time. So I don't think we'll do that today. Let me put that away. And I want to tell the grown-ups a couple things. Hey, we need to put that up right now so you can be a good, a good listener, but later you can play with that. Hey, I've got a couple things to tell the grown-ups about. One. The library is having a birthday. Yay! 50 years for the Lynchburg Public Library. We're having a party. And tomorrow, we're having the Ugandan Kids Choir come. They're going to sing at the library. I hope you can come. Do you know how to beg your parents to do things? OK, can you, sh can you show us how you beg? Like, oh, you don't want to. OK. You, can you get on your knees like this guy in the blue? OK, and then you put your hands together, and you say, Please take me to the library. Try it. Let's everybody try it. Please take me to the library. Okay, so beg your parents to take you to the library, but they might have a good excuse. They might have a bad excuse, but they might have a good excuse or reason. They'll call it a reason why they can't go. But anyway, you might, may or may not be able to go to that. That's tomorrow. And then there's another puppet show at the main library. And that's going to be on Tuesday. We're calling it Puppet Palooza, and we're doing it on the first Tuesday of every month. Um, well, April and May, and then we'll take a break for summer. And then there are all kinds of programs going on. Baby Garden, Tales for Twos, Preschool Story Time, and then Steam for older kids, um, ages <coughs> 6 to 8. And you can go online and find all this information, or you can um, pick these up at the library. And we're doing family story times on Saturdays this spring. The next one is April 16th. And we're doing another special puppet show on that day, April 16th. Special birthday puppet show. And what else is going on? Oh, we always like to hear um, how we do. So feel free to fill out um, one of these comment cards to let us know um, what you think, how it can be better. Any feedback is appreciated. Did you saw it? Okay, all right. Can you tell me about it after story time? I saw how we did You did? Okay, all right. And I think that's it. That's all the announcements there are. Let's do where, Edgar, hello. You all can come sit right in the middle if you like. Let's do where is rabbit. So take your, take two fingers like this and hide them behind your back. It's like where is Thumpkin, but we're going to do rabbit. And then the rabbits will come out, they'll say, how are you? And then they hop away, hop away. Where is rabbit? Where is rabbit? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Hop away, hop away. Good job. Now let's do a different one. This one is called Two Little Robins. And this is a, an illustration of two robins. And the grown-ups, if you can read that from where you are, you can help us say it. They're perched on a branch, one named Bob, the other named Blanche. Okay, because branch and Blanche rhyme. So you got your two robins? 
two little robins perched on a branch. One named Bob, the other named Blanche. Fly away, Bob. Fly away, Blanche. Come back, Bob. <coughs> Come back, Blanche. Well done. Let's see if there's any others. Oh, I think we'll save the others for a little bit later. Now, I have, we're, we're going to do things a little bit differently. I'm going to read one book, then we'll do a puppet show, then we'll have um, probably two more quick books, and then one more puppet show. And we might get up and move a little in between. You love the itty bitty dark? Is that a name, the name of a book? Oh, I'm so glad you like that. Well, let me see which book to do first. Oh, and then when we finish, you can make a rabbit craft before we go. So let's. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? That's so exciting. I know. Well, I think I should read you a book called Carrot Soup. And this is by John Siegel. He did the, the writing and the illustrating. That means the words and the ideas and the pictures. Carrot soup. Hmm, I wonder if there if somebody I wonder if Rabbit's gonna make soup or if he's hoping for soup. We better read and find out. Carrot soup by John Siegel. It was spring, Rabbit's favorite season. It was time to plan the garden. Order carrot seeds and look forward to enjoying his favorite food, carrot soup. Rabbit plowed and planted. Rabbit watered and weeded. He waited and waited and waited. Until finally, it was time to pick the carrots. Rabbit gathered his tools and his wheelbarrow and off he went. But something was terribly wrong at the carrot patch. Rabbit looked up. Rabbit looked down. Rabbit looked over and under and inside and out. Rabbit saw roots and rocks and dirt and mud, but what Rabbit did not see were carrots. You were right. There were no carrots. They were gone. Rabbit went to see Mole. Mole, have you seen my carrots? Rabbit asked. Someone has stolen my carrots. And Mole replied, Rabbit, you know I don't see very well. Why don't you ask Dog? Because moles are blind because they live underground all the time where it's too dark to see anything anyway. Dog has taken all of my carrots, said Rabbit. I mean, I'm sorry. Dog, someone has taken all of my carrots, said Rabbit. Have you seen them? I don't care much for carrots, said Dog. Why don't you ask Cat? Cat, I was hoping to have carrot soup tonight, but my carrots have disappeared, said Rabbit. Have you seen them? Carrots, asked Cat. Why would I be interested in your carrots? Perhaps Duck knows something about carrots. Rabbit asked Duck, have you seen my carrots? I prefer fish to carrots. Said Duck, Pig will eat anything though. Maybe he has your carrots. Oh, but Pig was nowhere to be found. No carrot soup tonight, thought Rabbit sadly. Discouraged and disappointed, Rabbit went home. No carrot soup. Oh my goodness, what's going on? I think it's a party. Surprise! Oh, yay! I know. <laughs> so it looks like. I know. What are they having at their at the party? They're having carrot soup. Should we clap for carrot soup? Yay! Well, I was thinking at the beginning of this story, it's a certain time of year. It's Rabbit's favorite season. It was spring. Hi. Hi. I'm glad to see you. You came just in time for the show. 
and spring. That's what it is right now. It's springtime. And we have a puppet show about Rabbit is so excited. Rabbit's so, so excited. Because, well, I better not tell you, because that's what you're going to find out in the puppet show. Why Rabbit is so excited. All right. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I hope it feels better. All right. I better take these with me or they might not be here. Okay. So let me see if you're ready for the show. You have to be very, very quiet so everybody can hear, okay? I'm so excited, I just can't hide it, I'm about to lose control and I think I like it, oh yeah! Oof, oof. Hey there, puppy! Wow, what are you so excited about, Bunny? Is there a carrot giveaway going on? Ha <laughs> ha, no puppy, there's no carrot giveaway, I'm excited because it's spring! Spring? What's spring? Time for bouncing around like a kangaroo? Ah, very funny. No, spring is the beautiful fresh season that comes after winter. Oh, winter. I know all about that. I nearly froze my little puppy paws. Ah, well, yes, sometimes winter is freezing cold, but now the weather is warming up and the world is waking up and I'm so excited. Hey, I've been hearing birdies singing outside my window. Ooh, yes. Have you noticed some plants coming to life, puppy? I sure have. All along the streets of downtown Lynchburg, there are trees that look so pretty full of their white blossoms. Ah, the Bradford pear trees. If you say so. I just know they're pretty full. Hey, puppy, would you like to hear a poem about spring? <gasps> sure. OK, this is about robins and seeds and plants. Are Ready when you are. Little Seeds by Elsa Minaret. Little seeds we sow in spring Growing while the robin sings. What are you doing, puppy? I'm adding sound effects, of course. That was a whistling of a robin. But you interrupted my poem. Oh, I'm sorry. Go on. Start again if you wish. Okay. Little seeds we grow in spring, growing while the robins sing. Give us carrots, peas, and beans. Yucky beans. I don't care for beans. Now, carrots and peas are fine, but... Puppy, you're interrupting my poem again. I'm sorry. Oh. I'll bite my tongue this time, even oh. though that might hurt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Little seeds we sow in spring, growing while the robins sing. Give us carrots, peas, and beans, tomatoes, pumpkins, squash, and greens. Oh, so sowing seeds means planting them. Yes. So I just drop a seed in the ground, and it will grow into a plant, such as a carrot? Uh, not exactly. Seeds need more than soil to grow. Oh, I bet I know. They need some magic words, like... Abracadabra, goodbye snow, little seed please, grow, grow, grow. No, puppy, plants don't need magic words. Oh, okay, don't tell me, let me guess. Um, mm, can you give me a clue? Okay, to grow, seeds need something that falls from the sky. Oh, you mean like birdie poo? No, not birdie poo, it's something that's used for washing. Seeds need a bathtub? No, puppy. <laughs> to grow, seeds need water. Water falls from the sky and it's used for washing. That was my next guess, of ah, course. Of course. <laughs> seeds need water, warmth, and oxygen to germinate. Germinate? I thought we were talking about plants, not germs. Germinate is what you call it when a seed starts to grow. Oh, where did you learn all this cool stuff, Bunny? Well, I hopped over to the library and I went to the science section. They had lots and lots of books on plants and spring. Hey, Bunny, tell me some more things you'd like to know about spring so we can stretch this puppy show out a little bit longer. Ah, uh, great idea, but it's not a puppy show, it's a puppet show. Puppy, puppet, whatever. All right, I'll go first. Have you noticed the bushes full of um, pretty full yellow flowers and also the pretty little yellow flowers that were coming up from the ground. Oh yes, I did see the 
chrysanthemum mums. Uh, no, I'm referring to the... Um, wait, 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 I mean the geraniums. Uh, no, I'm talking about the daffodils. Stay right here, I'll be right back. Like I would leave right in the middle of a puppy show. <laughs> Here you go, puppy. One of my oh. favorite things about spring is beautiful flowers like a daffodil. Pretty, Paul. Thank you, Bunny. Oh, actually, you know what? I just realized uh, I, I didn't pick you a daffodil. I'm sorry. I, I, I've got you a tulip. Tulip, daffodil, whatever. Okay. Thanks for being understanding. Um, another of my favorite spring things is that the days get longer. How does the day get longer? Do you stretch it out like a rubber band? Oh, no, puppy. It has to do with the tilt of the earth toward the sun. Hmm. Maybe I better check out a library book so I can learn about that. That's a great idea. You can learn about all kinds of things at your library. Ooh, can I learn about doggy bones? I'm sure there are books about dogs and books about bones and books about dogs and their bones. That'll work. I love the library and I love spring. Happy, Happy spring, spring, everybody. everybody. Woo! Good listeners, I must say. Well done. Good job, guys. Oh, hold on one second. I left the books back there. Oh, let's see. There we go. Oh. So this is a fun, I've got a fun, fun book. It's called, What's the Matter, Bunny Blue? What have heard about Yeah, if you came to Storytime at the other library, you probably heard this. And that's, I'm reading it again because I like it so much. And then, because there's going to be a puppet show that's, that's based on it. So I thought it would be fun to hear the book and then see the puppet show. It's called, What's the Matter, Bunny Blue? Nico by Nicola Smee. So Bunny Blue has a little bit of water falling down. What, what do you think's wrong? Tears. Tears, she's crying. I know you know, but hold on. Hold on, just one second. All right. I guess, why don't we just read it? But thank you so much. Okay. What's the matter, Bunny Blue? What's the matter, Bunny Blue? I lost my granny. Boo hoo hoo. Can you say the boo hoo hoo part with me? Boo hoo hoo. What does she look like, Bunny Blue? She's got twinkly eyes. Boo hoo hoo. What else does she look like, Bunny Blue? She's got a big smile. Boo hoo hoo. Can you give us another clue? She's got soft, furry arms. Boo hoo hoo. Is she by any chance blue like you? Oh, yes, she is. Boo hoo hoo. Does she happen to be missing a shoe? I don't know. Boo hoo hoo. She can't have gone far, Bunny Blue. We'll all come along and search with you. Granny. Granny, help us call Granny. Granny. Granny, where are you? Granny. Yoo-hoo. Good job. And here she is, and there he is looking under a rock. There you are, my bunny blue. Granny, Granny, I found you. She was missing a shoe. Yes, and she was missing a shoe. There it is. And I'm going to stick to you like glue. And there's the fox helping her put her lost shoe on. That's sweet. Now let's go home, my bunny blue. <coughs> Goodbye. Thank you. Granny, Granny, I love you. I love you too, my bunny blue. Should we clap for what's the matter, bunny blue? That's kind of fun. I like that. Um, I, have a, I have a little song that I learned. It's a good song for springtime. And it's called Robin in the Rain. And if I can find my capo, I'll sing it for you. Yeah, there it is. I'll sing it for you. I've been practicing it. I, I'm not playing it.
perfectly yet, but I think I'm playing it well enough for, for you all, because I think you look like a forgiving crowd. <laughs> I think it'll be okay if I, I have a, hard, a very hard chord in here that I never had learned how to play before, so I've been practicing it. It's called a B minor. That's kind of, it's a bar chord. My finger covers the whole fret like that. So that's a little tricky for me. I've been practicing and practicing to try to get it. So when I get to that part, it may sound a little wonky, but I think we can keep going. All right? So it's, it's about a little robin in the rain. He's a saucy fellow, and the showers always make him gay. And, that, and this song, Gay, means happy. And it's called Robin in the Rain, and it's from 1939. Here we go. Robin in the rain, such a saucy fellow. Robin in the rain, mind your socks of yellow. Running through the garden on your nimble feet. Digging for your dinner with your long, strong feet. Robin in the rain, you don't mind the weather, showers always make you gay, but the worms are wishing you would stay at home, Robin on a rainy day, Robin in the rain, Robin in Robin in the rain, what a saucy fellow. Robin in the rain, mind your socks of yellow. Running through the garden on your nimble feet. Digging for your dinner with your long, strong beak. Robin in the rain, you don't mind the weather. Showers always make you gay. But the worms are wishing you would stay at home Robin on a rainy day Robin on a rainy day Don't get your feet wet Robin on a rainy day Thank you. Isn't that a fun little song? I love it. And it was raining last night when I um, went during the night it was raining, and then this morning I saw a robin come out, and it was sprinkling. So you will see robins in, in the rain in the spring if you look carefully, and see if they have socks of yellow. And see if they are wearing socks of yellow. I'm wondering if your robins do. Um, now, let's see, what else do I want to tell you? Oh, if you like that song and you want to see a funny little animate, animated version, go on uh, YouTube to Raffi, Robin, Robin in the Rain and you can see a little animated version that's really cute. All right, well we have, <coughs> before we do want the last puppet show, stand up a minute. Let's do rain on the green grass, rain on the tree, rain on the rooftop, but not on me. Let's do it again. Rain on the green grass, rain on the tree, rain on the rooftop, but not on me. Have a seat. Now, you know that book I just read? Sometimes when, when I write puppet shows, then I, and not just me, but other people too, they, they base it on a book. So I, when I read this book, I said, ooh, that could make a fun puppet show. But it's hard, it's kind of hard sometimes. So it's not exactly the same. So you'll see how it's different and how it's the same. Some of the things are same, the same. The bunny is not actually blue, because I didn't have any blue bunny puppets. But, but we're still going to call them Bunny Blue. That's their name. All right? Looks like you're ready to be good listeners again. All right. We don't need a tulip anymore.
She said for me to stick like glue. Oh, boo, hoo, hoo. Hey, what's the matter, Bunny Blue? Why the tears and the boo hoo hoo? Is there something I can do? I'm here to help you out. I lost my granny, Granny Blue. She said for me to stick like glue. Alas, I wandered from her view. Oh, boo hoo hoo. Aw, you wandered <coughs> off? She can't be far. I'm sure she's wondering where you are. I need some clues to end your blues. So what does Granny look like? Well, my granny has a great big smile, a smile that spreads for miles and miles. Hello. Uh, is this your granny, Bunny Blue? Uh, oh no, that's not my granny. Oh dear. I just don't know what I will do if I can't find my granny Blue. She said for me to stick like glue, oh boo, hoo, hoo. Oh, hey, we're gonna find her, don't worry. Can you give me another clue to help me find Granny Blue? Okay, um, my Granny Blue has great big ears that help her hear. Oh, okay. Uh, is this your Granny Blue, Bunny Blue? Oh no! That's, hello, hello. Oh, that's not my granny. Oh my goodness, no. I just don't know what I will do if I can't find my granny blue. She said for me to stick like glue. Oh boo hoo hoo. It's okay. Okay, I, can you give me another clue to help me find your granny blue? Okay, um, my granny blue has twinkly eyes. Eyes that make me think she's wise. <clears throat> oh, okay. Oh, is this your granny, Bunny Blue? Oh, no, that's not my granny. Oh, I just don't know what I will do if I can't find my granny Blue. She said for me to stick like glue. Oh, boo, hoo, hoo. Oh, don't worry. We'll help you. Can you give me another clue to help me find your Granny Blue? Okay. My Granny Blue is brown like me. Her arms are soft and snuggly. Okay, I got an idea. Yeah? Yeah. Why don't we call for your Granny now and see if we can find her somehow? Okay. Granny! Granny! Granny Blue! Granny! Here, I'll look down here. Okay. <clears throat> Granny Bunny Blue, I found oh, you. Oh, Granny Blue, it's you. From now on, I'll stick like glue. Thanks. Thanks for your help, friend. Oh, you're welcome. The end. Was that fun? Yeah. <laughs> I had fun writing that. Uh, do you mean the elephant? Well, let's see. Maybe we should show you the the animals that were in that puppet show. Um, Miss Puppeteer, would you let the um, the first animal was a an alligator? That was an alligator. Can the alligator come up and say hello again? Get the out. There he is. Hello, alligator. Hello, how are you? Good, thank you. <laughs> All right. And the second animal, who remembers the second animal? An elephant. An elephant. I think the elephant was next. Let's see if the elephant can come out. Oh, oh, it's hard to get up here. Oh. There's the elephant. Oh, good to see you. How you doing? Good to, be good to see you. All right, so there's the elephant. And what's the next animal? An owl. An owl. An owl. <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's quite a head you've got. Almost 360 degrees. Oh, wait, you did go 360. Okay, well done. So those were all the animals and then Granny Blue. There wasn't a rhinoceros. There was a dog. There, a dog. A dog. A dog. A dog. A dog. A dog. Oh, a 
duck. Yeah, you're right. There was a duck. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think duck's taking a nap back there. I think that's right. All right, well, these are, this is a fun little rhyme. He, um, peeked up. Did he peek up? Did duck peek up when I wasn't looking? That duck, he's a rascal. If you know Five Little Peas in a Pea Pod Fest, will you do it with me? This is one that we do it during story time. So there's the peas, here's the pea pod. And they go in here like this. Five little peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, and so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they would not stop until one day that pod went pop. Just like that. Are you going to help me? Okay. Uh, oh my goodness, what have I started? Thank you guys. Thank you. They have eyeballs. They're, yes. They're peas with eyeballs. All right. Thank you so much. There's something coming out? Oh, I think it's okay. It's time for me to tell you about your craft that you get to make. So this is Bonnie Blue. And what you can do is ball up little bits of tissue paper and put it all around. And then you can glue a cotton tail on. And you can write, you can put this little sticker on the back. Well, it's not a sticker, but it's a little piece of paper that you can glue on. It says, what's the matter, Bunny Blue, that can help you remember today? And then you'll have, you can do your own little puppet show with Bunny Blue. And Bunny Blue can go and look for who, Granny or whoever is lost. Maybe someone in your family, Bunny, wants to find you. I don't know if I have enough. Food. Let's just do one to start. And if you don't want to ball up tissue paper, you can just lay it flat on there. And I'll pass out a few crayons. And I think that's it for today. So thank you all for coming to the library. Please check out.